Was there some type of fake? Because uh, I saw the LAPD tweeted out a demonstration. <laughs> Thomas, did you see that was? No, I did not. There's some type of AstroTurf demonstrations in LA. Maybe you guys could look it up. Is the curf the curfew still in place in LA? No, right? the curfew has been lifted, oh, lifted since since Thursday. Oh, they got rid of it since Thursday. They got rid of it Thursday. Like, they, like they just basically was like, All right, "What are we doing? We got this it. isn't working. This is ridiculous." And Joshua, also, yeah. Also, the thing about the curfew is that like shit, like Ralph's, the grocery store, like, this was forced to close work. at nine p.m. And so I'm sure the money started coming down on them too, right? Like, it's not as if like I was allowed to go to a restaurant or go to this or cause they, cause restaurants have been open since last week. You've been Limited. going to restaurants already? No, they, they're open. I was about I'm, to say, Jesus Christ, am no, I only one still in quarantine when I'm not protesting? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're open. They're doing limited capacity. Um, you know, one t- like basically for I think forty percent capacity. Um, outdoor patios, oh, okay. all of that stuff. So if these business establishments, you know, restaurants, liquor stores, all of this stuff, is just like wait, 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 wait a second, man. Like we need these people to come buy stuff. What are you doing? They 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 rescinded it, and so since yeah. Thursday night, it's been no curfew. I think when cops they- beating the shit out of our delivery people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was awful. That's Not so, cool, dude. So disgusting and evil, man. So, uh, yeah, but I think like that might actually be though the next wave of astroturf or like psyop. And I'm using psyop like very specifically, like all that dancing Neil stuff. That is psyop, mm. and you can see it with those footage from places like Iraq and Afghanistan. So is the next like, yeah, we're all going to march together. You know? <laughs> it's like everybody can march together as human beings. Everybody's right. a human being. Every human being is reachable. No human being is perfect. That I will say till I'm blue in the face. But if you have that function right now, then you can't march. Mm-hmm. That's the distinction. And But I think you'll see more of that. I think that'll be the next wave. And that's going to be how – because. On the political level, Donald Trump is going to fucking lean the hell into this. They want to get rid of it so that they can maraud. It's going to be, I mean, what we already knew, it's going to be pure racist fear mongering. And then, you know, the Biden campaign is going to look like a Nike commercial for Black Lives Matter with like, you know, shoot him in the calf. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> shoot him oh, in the calf, Biden Jack. Is, Biden of all people being the face of this, of the parties, like, in this specific moment, like, with his ridiculous history of fake-ass, tough-on-crime shit, it's just amazing, man. Like, mm. and, and, the prob- and the problem always with Biden is, like, the bald face hypocrisy of the party basically um, encapsulated in human form is Joe Biden. It's crime bill guy. It's sexual harassment guy. It's, um, you know, down with Wall Street and the banks guy. Like he is all of it. The hypocrisy of the party embodied in one freaking person. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's the truth. And also, I, you know, again, he's also just, you know, and it'll be that same fight because, you know, none of the mainstream corporate Democratic Party, they're going to they're going to do everything they can to dilute um, the serious calls about demilitarization, defunding, redistribution, and then never connect it to. Housing, right. healthcare, employment, right. and right. all of the issues that it's inseparable from in terms of like actually getting rid of it on a systemic level. They're going to, you know, they're going to, but they are going to embrace the iconography oh, and the aesthetics of, of it. It's Hillary with the yep. mothers of the movement. It's, it's yep. Hillary with the, with the um, mothers of the people that got killed by police on the um the the de- the um the nomination stage where she's just like yeah hooray it's like, Yo, I like your Hillary impression why it's just it's, it's, it's like <laughs> just the optics 
Or like, did you see that? I, I, I text that to, to the Woke Bros group chat when she tweeted that freaking, it was the picture of when they had the, 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 the rainbow lights on the White House and mm. that night, and it was next to it was the night that, that Trump went to the bunker and that White House went dark with just the word vote. Just like, just like, because under so- my presidency, yeah, <laughs> we will redesign the police force to have rainbow colored robots that will <laughs> automatically kill people that make underneath 70 grand a year <laughs> who are in the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> Remember when Axel Foley asked at the warehouse how a black man got a match? Why did he? Yeah. Think of that. <laughs> Except with AI technology that in a non-discriminatory way would kill him. Mm. Not just because he's black, but because he's wearing a denim jacket. (laughs) And a rainbow flag. Don't forget to vote. Speaking of that voice, uh, Mitt Romney is marching, I guess. Oh, Jesus. (laughs) Dude, I saw saw that. I I don't usually, whatever. I don't mix it up with her at all, but... Um, Ida B. Wells on Twitter, who, you know, wrote the very heavily critiqued, you know, you can watch Adolf Reed and, and I on the uh, 1619 Project. She was tweeting the other day about, like, how great a man George Romney was. And I will say, like, yes, George Romney as a car company CEO was definitely part of the business class that was absolutely on the right side of civil rights. But it, it's a lot to... You know, go in the archives for him if, uh, you know, Bernie getting arrested as a college student in Chicago. <laughs> it's like, yeah, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, fuck awesome. him. You know, he's a great guy. <laughs> this Republican car company CEO. <laughs> you just watched a Michael Brooks show video. Subscribe to get them all. Why wouldn't you? Don't be foolish. Click subscribe below and become a patron as well. Patreon.com slash TMBS. Thanks, everybody.